a lot of people ask me all the time, how did you make it? How did you make it? In my life, there have been lots of doors that closed. There I was homeless, there I was struggling, there I was hungry, trying to get this play off the ground. And I knew I had an idea, I knew I had something special, I knew I had something different. Nobody would invest in it. And every time I'd ask people, they would lie to me, they would, no, you don't have anything special, that's not gonna work, who do you think you are? If there are people who are telling you what you can't do, this won't work, you won't be able to make it, that's not gonna happen. Don't listen to them. And don't worry about when doors start to close. In my life, God closed every door on me. I went to a lot of different people that could have helped. God closed all of those doors in the beginning. Sometimes in life, God wants your story to be such a miracle that he shuts down every avenue. Every door will be closed so that you can only go to him for the answer. There is not one person, not even myself, they can claim that they made all of this happen for me. So many things had to fall in place. Me as a human being, I couldn't do it. I had to be in the right place at the right time, on the right street, on the right day. There is a strategic plan on your life when you pray and believe. Everything that is supposed to happen in your life will happen. If the doors are closing, there are times when it's God closing doors like a maze so that you're forced to go one way and only look to him to know that it was him that blessed you in your life. It was nothing but the grace of God. Nothing but the grace of God. You could go around giving your business card to people. You can go around knocking on doors and auditioning. You can do all of that every day of your life. You can plant seeds all day long. When a seed is planted in the ground, all you can do is water it. You cannot control the sunshine, you cannot control the weather, and you cannot control what the locusts will come and try and destroy it. All you can do, water it and believe. That is what allowed me to be in this position right now. I would not stop believing. I planted my seed, I worked really hard. My only idea, my only focus was to do my one play. And I knew if I could get that to work, everything else would come to pass. If you spread the water across many, many seeds, you don't have as much water for one seed. So focus on one thing. Make it your priority and stick with it no matter what. No matter how many people told me no, no matter how many people lied to me, no matter how many times I put the show up and nobody came. When I did my very first show, I worked my butt off and saved $12,000 tax returns. Thought that 1,200 people would come over a weekend and 30 showed up and I knew every one of them. That was in 1992. 93, same thing happened. I, I, 94, 95, 96, 97, up until 1998. Same devastation, nobody showing up in the audience. But I didn't stop. That didn't deter me. Cannot stop believing in any way. No matter what anybody says, no matter what anybody tells you, you have to know it beyond knowing it. When something's for you, there's a feeling that is deep down inside of you that will not allow you to let it go. It will keep you going when you can't even keep yourself going because there comes a time in your life where you've worked and stressed and you tried to get there and you couldn't on your own, but you have a dream. And that dream has to take on the belief for you because you can't do it by yourself. Don't stop. Narrow your focus to one idea, one, and make it work. That will give birth to all the others. All you can do is plant the seed and water it. God himself has to give the increase. Only God can make the sunshine. Only God can bring the rain. But if you've planted the seed, then you've done your part. Anything you want is possible.